You might have seen that Google Analytics automatically collects scroll events. However, at the moment, event will be sent only for visitors who have scrolled past 90% of the page. If you want to see a more detailed scroll analysis, for example, number of users who have scrolled past 25 or 50% of the page, you will need to add a custom tracking for that. In this video, I will show you how to easily collect this information using Tag Manager and Google Analytics. Open Google Tag Manager and go to Trigger section. Here, create new trigger. Since GTM has a built-in scroll depth trigger, we won't have to do any JavaScript workarounds to track these interactions. Click on Trigger Configuration and select Scroll Depth. Select to track vertical scroll depth. I don't see any case where you would need horizontal, but uh, who knows? Let me know in the comments. So select vertical. Then you need to set thresholds where you want your events to be triggered. For the sake of example, I will use 25, 50, 75, and 90. With these settings, if user scrolls to the end of the page, then event will be triggered four times. So when visitor has scrolled past 25% of total page height, then 50%, then 75, and then 90. You can set whatever values you would like to see in your report, and you will need to use a comma to divide each threshold. You also have a possibility to set thresholds in exact pixels, and that might be useful in rare cases where you have static height elements and you want to trigger an event once the visitor scrolls past it. For example, specific product count on category page or something like that. But normally what you should use is percentages. And then you can leave all the settings by default. As in any other trigger, you can also set specific condition when this trigger will fire. For example, limit this to a specific page or specific data where condition, etc. I will not add any conditions. Give your trigger a name and save it. Now we will create a Google Analytics tag that will use that trigger to send an event. Go to Tags section and create a new one. From Tag Configuration, select Google Analytics GA4 Event. Here you will need to provide your measurement ID, which would be a static value from your stream settings. You can find this value under Admin Settings, Data Streams, Stream Details, and Measurement ID. And add that here. You can also use a variable that contains this value so that you don't have to copy that over and over. Now I will use a default scroll event name. You can use whatever value you want to see in your analytics report. Then let's add a new event parameter called percent scrolled. And this is the default event parameter. You can see we have a check mark here. And this means we won't have to create a custom dimension to store threshold, which users saw on your page. And here we'll pass exact value how deep users saw your page, 25, 50, 75, or 90%. To do that, click on the plus sign here, and we will need to add percent scrolled threshold as a variable. So click on built-ins, search for scroll, and select scroll depth threshold. Now this value will be replaced by 25, 50, or other values that you have added in your trigger configuration. Alternatively, you can also avoid using event parameters and pass this value as an event name. So for example, you could take this here and add scroll underscore scroll depth threshold. So in reality, that would replace the value with the static number. So if I would scroll to 50% of my page, I would see event scroll 50. And now all we need to do is to add a trigger that we have just added. Select scroll depth here, name your tag, and save it. Now let's preview and test the setup to make sure everything works as we want it to. Enable preview mode, add your web page URL here, and click connect. Now on your web page, scroll to the very bottom so that we can see all of the events and then open your Tag Assistant, either in a separate tab or in separate window. You should see here additional scroll depth events. Let's click on the first one and take a look what we have here in the data layer. You can see we have scroll depth threshold 25%. The next event we have 50%, 75%, 90%, 
next one 75 and 90. And if you click on the tag, it should appear here under tags. You will see that we are passing this value to percent scrolled attribute. Let's make sure that analytics also receives it. Go to your Google Analytics and go to admin section. Under data display, find debug view. And after a few seconds, you should see your scroll events appearing in the timeline. And you can click on any of those. Let's click on this one. And you can see we are passing the value of our scroll depth. Now, if you go back to Tag Assistant, you will see that in addition to our custom GTM events, we have additional one sent to Google Analytics. And you could see that because you have enhanced measurement enabled for scroll tracking. If you add custom tracking on your own, then you should disable this to keep your data cleaner. To disable automatic scroll tracking, go to data streams under admin section, select your data stream, click on enhanced measurement, this icon here, and then disable scrolls and save your settings. Now you should be ready to publish your container and start collecting data. To view collected data, we will create a simple custom report. Go to explore section and create a blank report. Add dimensions, search for scroll, select percent scroll, then search for event. And let's add page path as well. Then click import. Now let's add a metric. In our case, it will be total users. Click import. Now double click on page path, percent scrolled and total users to add those to the report. Note that if you have just added the tracking, you will need to wait at least to the next day until anything appears in this report. Okay, now go to the filters and add the new filter, event name, and this should equal to your scroll depth event name. In my case, it was just scroll. Hit apply. Now you will see a report table with a scroll depth per page, but at the moment it's not very readable because we have all the unique combinations of page path and percent scrolled uh, split into separate rows. So let's move percent scrolled to columns to make that more readable. For some reason it doesn't display it correctly, so let's remove it altogether and select it from column. Okay, now it works. So you can see that we have something similar to a funnel view for each page. For example, for the first page we have 300 users that have scrolled past 25%, 196 who have scrolled past 75 and 93 who have scrolled past 90. And that's it for the tracking. As you can see, it is relatively easy to enrich existing scroll depth tracking using Google Tag Manager. Collected data doesn't indicate user interest or engagement precisely. However, you could use that as an additional data point to quantify user engagement. Let me know if this was useful by hitting a like button and subscribe to the channel for more similar tutorials in the future. See you in the next one.